lovelies and welcome to my channel in today's video i'm going to blow dry and straighten my short 4c hair i hope you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet give this video a thumbs up also put the bell notification on so that anytime i upload you'll be the first to get my videos to begin this process my hair was already washed and wet so i'm going to moisturize it using my pink oil hair moisturizer i'm going to put it into my hair all over Next, I'm going to go in with my jam hair gel. This gel is mostly for styling like a slick hold down, but I decided to use it in my hair because one, it gives you a very good shine. So next, I'm putting this heat defense into my hair. This was in a big container and then I transferred it into the little bottle and then just wrote on it so that I would identify it. So now I'm brushing my hair through before I go in with my blow dryer comb. So now that I'm done with that, I'm blow drying my hair. This will make the hair more free for me to go in straightening. If you have a longer hair, I will say you should just part your hair and then put the comb to those parts and straighten. But since my hair is that short, I just put it inside and then brush it through like a normal brushing and it will dry the hair. As you can see, it's drying from the front one and pulling it out. And so I'm going to the center of my hair, which is the most difficult part of my hair to go through. Now I'm finished, I'm going to go straightening my hair. I'm going to be parting this hair section by section and be straightening with my straightening brush. This brush is a new one that I got and it's one of the best I've had so far. It's the one that has done mostly 90% of the straightening for me. This is so good. Before I go in straightening my hair, you can see the comb like some smoke or something is coming out. It's the oil that I applied into my hair. That kind of wax looking oil, that's what causes this to happen anytime I do my hair. So you think it's a burn, it's not. It's the cream that is causing that. So I'm using the brush right into my hair and it's straightening the hair so nicely for me. I never knew that this comb could do that kind of good job for my tough fussy hair. So I'm still going to be sectioning little by little and I'm applying the little cream wax again into the hair this wax is meant for straightening hair unfortunately this part i applied too much of it you can see like it's so much oil in the hair which is like overdone it but it's doing a good job if you see look into my palm you see the oil is all right there so i'm going to continue sectioning this hair and applying this time i'm applying a little amount i'm not going to be adding a lot because i did not know that it goes quite a long way if you apply the wax into the hair and this wax as i said is called dax wax it's meant for straightening or waxing the hair this is so beautiful you see how it looks this makes the hair look so so smooth and silk when you you straighten it this comb is doing a good job and so when i finish straightening with the comb i'm going to continue using my hair straightener to just straighten the edges up that is how i achieve the main style looking of the hair when i'm straightening with this comb and i get to the very end of the hair you see that i'm holding the hair at the end of it and then holding it for a little bit longer as the ends or edges of the hair takes a while to feel the heat so that's why i held it a little bit longer you see how it has turned this hair looks so so nice you already know that it's a fussy hair it looks as if i've relaxed or i've put a hair relaxer in it so this brush i'm holding can hit up to 230 but what i'm using is like on the third one so it's not that hot that's why it has even taken me a while to finish straightening this hair using the brush and here is how it looks after using the brush on it the hair looks so so good this is how it looks very free so i'm going to start using my hair straightener I'm going to go onto it like once or twice and like try and curl it to the end of the hair this will give my fussy hair that kind of shine and silk looking kind of from this part going i'm just going to show you how i straightening it all to the end using the hair straightener on my hair the sides of the hair are super super short than the center of my hair because of how i cut my hair previously before i started growing growing it so every time i do my hair like this i try to just trim it a little bit at the end as the hair continue to grow so i'll be trimming it more and more and this particular straightening this time has been better than the previous one i did i think because of the brush i used into the hair it has made the hair really really smooth and soft the brush is able to go right under your scalp it doesn't bend you or anything if you look at the hair very well you see that right from the bottom of the hair is all like straighten up so i'm just going to do a few more of this i'm going to do the center part of the hair and then go into the back side and if you are wondering 
if you add water to this hair right now it's going to change back to fussy very tough looking hair which i can't even brush or use my comb to go through so i'm almost done with it now it's left with the center part alone so i'm going to straighten this part of the hair looking at how the hair is looking now it's so smooth and beautiful looking i did not know that my fussy hair can like just straighten up like this i never knew at all that it will do this good job and if you look at the center of my hair you'll see the length of it it's really really long and as i said this hair straightener and then the comb that i use in the hair this smoke looking kind of thing that is coming out of it is because of the hair wax the dax wax that i put into the hair like an oil kind of anytime i apply it into my hair before i apply it that is how it looks as if it is bringing some kind of like a steam out of the hair or smoke which should be normal because an oil on a hair straightener with the heat in it should like bring some kind of reaction so that's what is going on there now i've finished the whole straightening process i'm just going to start it with my little comb i'm just doing the patterning again as it wasn't that straight for me and then i'm I'm just using my big comb into the hair just bring some little bit into the front part of my hair this thing look as if a wig it's really really thick i never knew my fussy hair can be this thick looking when i straighten it it looks so nice to me very very smooth the good part is i put my hair brush into the hair and it just slide through it also so nice so good and the main reason i did this hair straightening is that i'm going to be braiding my hair which will be easier for me to do so this is how it is looking now this is the side part of it i'm trying to show the center how it looks but i'm not sure if i'm showing it well this is how the patterning side look and then i'm turning well again bring it closer and then you see this is how the whole style look i will try and turn my back and see if you can also see how it look well this side of it looks so so much like a wig the hair is so so thick so beautiful and so this is how it is looking from behind when i turn my back and then i'm going to turn the other side too to see if you can see it well this is how it looks so so much like a wig thank you for watching today's blow dry and hair straightening i hope you like it don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet put the bell notification on so that anytime i upload you get my videos thank you for watching and see you in my next video bye